Hello there, this is Pete Howard, director of concert posters for Heritage Auctions. And take a look at this historic Bob Dylan concert poster and rare and great looking from 1965 and nothing less than his very first show with the band called at the time, of course, The Hawks. Boy, that is just, you know, they, those two were hand in glove for many years and changing the course of rock history. And of course, we're talking about the outfit that had Robbie Robertson on lead guitar, Richard Manuel on piano, Rick Danko on bass and vocals. Manuel also did vocals, but of course for the Dylan tour, none of them did vocals. Garth Hudson on organ and accordion and Lee Von Helm on drums. Matter of fact, the outfit was known as Levon, on the, Levon and the Hawks for a while before they joined up with Dylan, and then obviously they just became the Hawks. I mean, you don't want to have a, a concert build to Bob Dylan and Levon and the Hawks, you know, so. And Levon was from Arkansas, and the rest of the Hawks were from the Toronto, Canada area. But um, boy, this is, a, this is a rare tour blank. Of course, by tour blank, I mean the top 80% printed ahead of time, and the Murray poster printing credit down on the lower right. And then in the venue box, show by show, the information is stripped in. Well, and this was for a couple of months in 1965, Heritage has only ever been able to sell one of these from another city, only one city, I should say, and that'd be the San Francisco Bay Area where people tended to save posters anyway. So this is the first one we've offered outside of the Bay Area of this tour, this tour blank, and it just happens to be the super historic, very first show of the tour. Therefore, the very first show with the band or the Hawks, however you like to call them. So that's just amazing. Austin, Texas, the Municipal Auditorium on Friday, September 24th. Wow, so that's, uh, that's where the tour started. And Dylan had plugged in, of course, a couple of times before then, such as the Newport Folk Festival, but he was experimenting with musicians. He had people like Harvey Brooks on bass and Al Cooper and, you know, Robbie sometimes, sure. But for this, they all met in Toronto. They rehearsed for three days and three nights, I should say. And um, then they set off on what Mojo Magazine once called the greatest tour in rock and roll history. Bob Dylan and the Hawks, late 1965, early 1966, just so significant. And of course, one of the things that made this such a landmark tour is Dylan would come out and do acoustic songs for the first half, just like he's pictured. Then for the second half after intermission, he would come back with the five members of the Hawks and just blow the roof off with sound and loud rock and roll. During the acoustic half, he had classics like She Belongs to Me, Love Minus Zero, No Limit, Mr. Tambourine Man, and how about Desolation Row from Highway 61 Revisited. And then in the um, electric half, the second half, Maggie's Farm, Battle of a Thin Man, Just Like Tom Thumb's Blues, and of course, yes, Like a Rolling Stone. So talk about the best of both worlds and just incredibly important and influential music represented by this poster. So as I mentioned, it's a tour blank, and um, the top, you know, the big picture up top was taken by Daniel Kramer, Dylan's official photographer at the time, and a really sweet guy who unfortunately just recently passed away. Um, so that's what you have the top half, and then the bottom part there, the top, I should say, 80%, you have that blank white venue box there, and um, the only other thing printed in was the Murray credit. And one thing I like about this, so as the locals dropped in their information, they were supposed to size it to fit that box just perfectly and not go up into the black or whatever. Well, in this particular instance, the typesetter had so many words to say that the word envelope actually overlaps just a little bit onto Murray of the Murray poster printing credit. Hopefully Tommy can give you a real close up look at that and you can see what I mean. It's, I don't know, it's just kind of, you know, it's charming. It's, uh, it sort of shows humanity with having a little mistake and it's just quaint and I think it's just really a neat little, granted little part of the poster. So, you know, the, who cared though? Because these things we have to remember were made to last for just a few weeks and be thrown away and that goal was met because more than 99% of them were thrown away if Heritage has ever in our history seen only three from the tour, this being the third one. So just love that rarity factor for sure. And you know, it's amazing just to think that Bob Dylan is still out there on the road here in the spring and summer of 2024, gigging away, still doing it. What's that? Almost 60 years later. What 
what an American institution and a just a postage stamp artist, you know, he's won every award, including the Pulitzer Prize and the Nobel Peace Prize. So you can't, I could talk another half hour about Bob's importance, but you know something, you probably know it if you're watching this. Now, as far as the poster, it's part of our mid-July music memorabilia and concert poster auction coming up July 19 and 20, Friday and Saturday. And this poster will be in the poster section on Saturday, July 20. So to read a lot more about it and to bid on it, just stop on by our website, and that would be ha.com slash 7377.